Welcome to another episode of Test Chamber, everyone. We're taking a look at Codemasters Grid 2. I really enjoyed the first game. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner, and I have someone here who enjoys this series quite a bit, too. That's Matthew Cotto. How's it going? Good. So uh, you've been playing this uh, pretty much nonstop the last few weeks. Uh, what's your take on it? What's uh, What are your thoughts on Grid 2? It's good. I uh, In my review, I gave it an 825, which uh, you know is, is a pretty solid score. Um, I think fans of the first game are definitely going to like it, you know, and maybe, you know, you didn't play the first game, so you don't know what it's all about. Um, there's a little different uh, story actually kind of added to this one, but the basics of it are the same, where you're going to get to drive different styles of cars. Um, it's kind of in between that sort of sim racer and arcade racer, um, and you just go around the world, uh, you know, racing, and there's a little story, like I said, the story component, and there's also flashbacks, so maybe people don't know it, but uh, let's do, whoa, standard practice, here we go, we're going to see one right now. Standard practice in a lot of racing games these days is to allow you to sort of rewind um, the action if you get in a little bit of a scrape and the first grid uh, started out that out and this one as you can see is a little more streamlined if I go in here and do it again as you can see on the bottom there's a little timeline ah, which nice. rewinds it and of course you can get uh, you can you can have zero t flashbacks if you want, or you can have more. Um, it's up to you, just depending on how you want to play. Um, but, you know, they're very handy. I mean, psh, I don't know anybody who doesn't want to avail themselves of a flashback now and again. Do you get achievements or anything like that if you don't use the flashbacks? If you complete, like, a clean race, stuff like that? Yeah, you'll, you'll get things for clean races uh, for not for not doing that. And, in fact, there's some sponsorship objectives where you can uh, set yourself up to get uh, a certain amount of fans if you do a clean race. Uh, you know, I'm not afraid to admit that I have never done that. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not that good. Your car's looking great, Kato. Huh? My car's looking good. And I probably can't tell at home, but I've got, a, I've got a lean to the right, which I'm fighting right now because it's gotten so banged up. So I could probably use more flashbacks and the codemasters racing games i don't think they get enough credit uh they continually pump out great games uh whether it's you know the dirt series this even going back to what was that pro race driver was yeah the we, first one where it really kind of it was story driven kind of like this yeah this was kind of the precursor although not in name it was certainly wow. in style was the pre yeah, i'm still going precursor <laughs> to uh this series as as you said try to in, 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 uh, put in a little bit of kind of a story to your racing there you see the ai wiped out by itself which is kind of cool to see um and this one in as far as like the grids franchise oh. has a little wrapper with some um, it's a story wrapper around what's called the world series racing um and that is kind of what leads you to race these different clubs around the world and as well as get them and uh to race in this world series racing which evolves over time I think it's one of the stories from those Herbie movies, Herbie Goes Bananas or something like that. I'm not going to say it's the most original story, but uh, not it that is I would there. know anything about that. <laughs> I think it's very similar. So what about the car selection? Uh, are they dealing with real cars? Obviously, you're beating the living tar out I'm of this thing. I'm beating the crap out of this thing. That's right. <laughs> Maybe I'll just restart this if people want to see it from the beginning. Um, yeah, so there's four series, four tiers of racing cars. And unlike most racing games, there's not actually assists. So it's not like you go into a menu and say, hey, you know, maybe I want a little easier car. Um, they don't actually let you do that. Like I said, you can ramp up the flashbacks if you want. Um, but the tiers are there to sort of introduce you to, to the cars uh, slowly but surely. Um, so the, the beginning cars are not going to be as awesome. squirrely as the, the ladder cars. You know, ladder cars you're getting into your like McLarens and some of your really hardcore racing cars that, you know, you really have to feather the acceleration. You've got to be easy on the brakes. Um, I would say that, you know, like a lot of racing games, they'll introduce you to what's called the, the, um, the front wheel drive cars first, which is I'm sorry, I'm kind of making a hash this one, but the front wheel drive cars where it uh, it's powered through your front wheels and very often the uh, engine is is in the front hood, like you have, like in your day-to-day -day car. Right. Um, that has a certain feel to it. It's a little tighter. It doesn't get as loose in the back, whereas... Um, as you progress, the really powerful cars, you know, anything from your Porsches, so like I said, a McLaren or a Lamborghini, will have its engine in the back and also the power will be derived from the back wheels. This lets you, you know, get the um, back end out a little bit more as we can, I'll try that, see like that, as you kind of drift around the corner like huh. that, that's more of a rear real car. Um, this game, as you go up to the tiers, actually presents more uh, W uh, or RWD cars, as they're saying, rear-wheel drive cars. 
earlier on, so you really have to kind of master, as you can see, I have not necessarily done. <laughs> You've got to master that feel um, and how, how you power the car through the curve. That's how you are successful in this game. And uh, can you pan out the camera? I'd like to see this this damage here. That looks good from the back, Kato. Yeah, yeah. The, with the front there is, I like to, to go into, in, into this, the hood cam. Uh, I like the way it feels, but as you can see, it's not doing too fair well. Too what well. about uh, the tracks? Is there a nice selection of them? What do you feel about the design of them? Um, I think there is a nice selection of them the way they feel. This is in Dubai. I would say the problem is that there is some track repetition. Uh, I liked a lot of the tracks. As you can see in the lower left-hand corner, we got the standard mini-map. Well, one of the cool things that this game does is it has a system called Live Routes, where what it will do for certain races on certain tracks is it will automatically um, generate the uh, the f you know future turns in the track so it actually does not have a mini map for those routes and what oh. will happen is um, you'll just have to go by feel They'll, there is some let's say I don't want to say repetition but let's say if I'm on this turn right here it, I may I may know what's on the next turn but let's say two three turns down the line I won't know and even there's sometimes two where you get it where like you think you know what's gonna happen because okay I recognize this stretch and all of a sudden bam the next turn is totally different it's it's fun um, those actually races tend to be kind of long which is kind of cool as well um, there was one time I noted I got in, into what I would call a loop where I started to recognize okay I think I'm, I'm I think I'm going through the same three turns in a row but that was one time I noticed that Hmm. And uh, it's seamless. You don't eat the the game doesn't stutter. You don't notice any sort of stitching or anything like that. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, that oh, you had a nice run there. Yeah, for a game, you know, certainly that does have a fair share of you know expected um, race modes like checkpoint and, and elimination and things like that. It's a really cool feature that I think people are going to like. And. Uh the Codemasters games are always known for having a wide variety of kind of ra racing styles, different challenges. Uh, what are they doing this time in, in terms of adding variety? Uh, I think the Live Roots is the main one. I think there's also some of the things that they've had in past racing series, but maybe aren't in other racing games. One's called um, Toge, which is kind of cool where it's head-to-head. -head, and one of the things that you have to do is you automatically win or lose um, if you're five seconds ahead or behind of your opponent. And so there's two heats. The first heat, you start out in the, in the lead. And again, you've, it'd be great if you just finish first or if you get five seconds ahead. And the second time, you, you start out behind. And in those races also, uh, contact is discouraged. So you will actually lose out if you try to just take out the other guy and, and go ahead. So it's kind of more all about skill in that particular kind of race. And quite the loading here. Yes, there is uh, a fair amount of loading. Um, and they always have the best menus. They do. As you can see, there were some stats there, obviously, that they were going through. And the crux of the World Series racing is that they've into seasons. So you spend the first part of the season, which I kind of refer to as preseason, recruiting those clubs. Uh, in this one, it's the New Union Transition Pacers. And as you go around the world, there's different kind of clubs. And so... As you can see here in the Spanish uh, Elimination Club, they f specialize in el elimination racing. And that's kind of how it brings up the different modes of racing. Hmm. And then as you get, you know, after you recruit those clubs, you get into the actual season. And then you'll race those clubs um, in a more of a season format. It might be, you know, five, six, seven, eight races. And so... It's kind of cool because, like I said, it's the World Series racing wrapper, so to speak, that the story wrapper. I would say, like, like I said before, there are some track repetition. And after you go through and you recruit the clubs and then you race them in the season, it can be uh, a little much in that sense. And like I said, you're sort of... Re re you know, uh, redoing some of the tracks. Right. And see, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner, their fans are kind of what drive you so after oh, you recruit the clubs yeah having enough fans is what sort of opens up other areas um, there's also vehicle challenges which is how you um, win a lot of the cars uh, in through the different tiered cars though they will give you cars so you'll always have a car no matter what but if you want to win more like there's a certain car you kind of have your eye on you can win it in these yeah, let's vehicle challenges and these are straightforward like let's see if I go if you see the T3 there's for the tier three cars these are the tier four cars um and if you go into here 
you see I can win this uh, uh, Pagini uh, car here. And as if you might have noticed, actually, if you go into view vehicles, uh, all my cars here have a certain livery, and so you can design the livery. Um, and will will be applied to all your cars, no matter what it looks like here. I can actually go through and actually apply a livery design and apply a team livery. I think that was and, Tom Cruise's car from uh, Minority Report. <laughs> and it will as it'll load in my car, which has the one I've designed a long time ago with all the sponsors and stuff like that. Um, it will just, it'll have this one that I've designed. It will whoa, <laughs> turn the uh, camera off of your car. Yeah, it will. Um, it will go into and show you which car. Uh, well, we can get back to that in a second. But one thing I want to I want to show you really quick is called promo races. These are a little bit um, different than your average sort of races that you go through in the seasons. Overtake is one, and as you can see, I can unlock other ones. Um, these are I want to say a little more kitschy, but they're just a little different. And these are also ways to unlock more fans. Yeah, let's try one of those or a vehicle challenge. Yeah, let's get into one of these. Overtake is kind of fun. And the main thing here, there, there's my car again. <laughs> um, it'll, this one, it might give you a specific kind of car, which is kind of cool because you can kind of try out, so to speak, different cars before you want to maybe do the vehicle challenges to win them. And one of the things I was going to say about the Overtake race, which is kind of fun, is that it sets out these sort of dummy SUVs or vans in front of you, and it's as the name implies, you win by overtaking the most. And so these guys are always kind of in the way of kind of your perfect line, you know, you, how you want to race things. But that's what makes it fun, is you're kind of dodging and weaving in between these cars, just trying to pass them to, to get the most fans. Hmm. I got to give you props, by the way, for placing third in that last race. I don't think uh, viewers realize how hard it is for us to communicate our thoughts on a game in like a twitch reflex type of racing scenario. I, I appreciate that uh, I, I appreciate that the flashbacks definitely help and it certainly helped that I've probably raced that that track about a thousand times now the first time you did flip over and that was really damn cool <laughs> yeah you will you know for the damage like I said there are some times when you have a little bit of light damage there's times when you'll actually feel it um, but a lot of times it just goes straight to instant death where you will just crash out and unless you have a flashback you're just pretty much dead see Holy crap, God, will slow down. You'll go into here, and there is another racer on the track, but you'll pretty much pass him pretty quickly, and then you're pretty much just focusing on getting around these guys. We're the idiots that brought trucks to the car race. <laughs> At least they put their hazards on to let you know that before you plow into <laughs> the back of them. Yeah. Wrong race. And so as you can see there, the timer on the upper is going down, so you get fewer and fewer points right. for you know the longer it takes for you to string together. Or if you hit them, if I was to ran, run into them, I, let's see, I'll just try this guy right here. It will go into 100 gotcha. points for a collision. So the key is to just keep as great, good of a line as you can in order to maximize your time, in order to maximize the points that you're going to get to uh, overtake these guys. How many cars are in this race? I think, you know, I've, I've had ones. Spawning. Yeah, I, I think they will, but I think um, I've had 30 or 40, you know, on a, on a, on a good race. Hmm. I think it may depend on the track as well. That's kind of cool. Yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty fun little way to get fans and also kind of break if, if you're you know you don't like some of the other races but maybe you're really good at this race or you like it you can get fans and progress without having to grind all right well i think that's a great look at this game uh thank you kato for taking the time to show us this this is the xbox 360 version and there's also a ps3 one and a pc and yes PC. uh the game is out now correct? yes right and, now uh you could read kato's review on the website we'll link it into the article for you for your convenience and uh, again everyone thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next episode of test chamber <laughs>